Hey friends, my name is Iher, and today we are solving another LeetCode problem, Balance Binary Tree. The problem statement is pretty straightforward. We are given a binary tree, and we need to figure out if it's height balance or not. In simple terms, the tree is height balance if the height of the left subtree and the right subtree never differs by more than one. Now let's take a quick look at few examples. Here you see a tree with one node, the root. It is height balance because the size of the left and right subtrees are zeros. If we add another node to its left, then it will be still height balance because now the size on the left is one, on the right is zero. But if we add another node to the left, now the height of the left subtree is two and right is zero. So this tree is not height balanced. Let's make it one and add another node to the right side. So now we have two on the left, one on the right. It is height balance. And now let's add another tricky example. Here you see, if you're looking from the root of the tree, the height of the left subtree is three and right as well. So here you see that the height of the left subtree is three and it is the same on the right. But if you take a closer look into other nodes in this subtree, we will see that some nodes has height on the left as zero and on the right as two. So this tree is not height balanced as well. Remember, each node of the tree should be height balanced. All right, now let's think how we might solve this problem. Imagine we have this tree, right? Like we've drawn before. The simplest solution that comes to my mind is to just check what's the height of the left subtree for this particular node. I can do it with simple DFS traversal, right? Just go and find the deepest leaf. I will find that, okay, it's one on the left. I will find that, okay, it's two on the right. So the difference is one. This node is height balance. Okay, and then I will go to the left node, we'll do the same, and we'll do this check for each node of the tree. Why this is not the best solution? Because you see, when we start traversing the tree from the root to find out the height of the whole tree, it will take us O of N, because we need to iterate through each node of this tree. Then we repeat this process over and over and again for each node. If this tree will be larger, then we will have here node and here node. We will do this traversal starting from each node, which will take us O of N times O of n, which is not optimal, and we do a lot of unneeded work. Now let's think about how we can optimize this solution. First, to figure out if the tree is height balanced, we need the height of the left and right subtree. Previously, we calculated it on the fly with DFS. Is there another approach to get the height of the left and right subtree without doing it on the fly each time? What if we, instead of going from top to bottom, we'll go from bottom to the top. Now let's think about this approach. At each node, we need the height of the left and right subtree. We can get it like we talked before through running DFS at each node for the whole tree on the left and the whole tree on the right. But now let's think about this approach. Every time we will go to the leaf of the particular subtree, we find out, okay, this is leaf. This part is height balance because the left and right tree is empty. And we return to its parent, its height which is one. And in this particular case, the height of the left subtree is zero for this parent. Is this not height balance? Yes. It means we return its height to the parent. Now its parent knows that, okay, my right subtree has height of two. And now we repeat the same process for the left subtree. We'll go here. We know it's one. We return one. And now we know that this node is also height balance. So the whole tree is height balance. Time complexity for this solution will be O of n because we will need to visit each node only once and the space complexity will be O of h for the recursion calls where h is height of the tree, which in the worst case can be O of n. Now let's proceed with the code. Let's define our DFS function. It will take the tree node as an input and it will return the height of this particular subtree or it will return as minus one if it already knows that this particular subtree is not height balance. So it doesn't make any sense to continue traversing other Part of the tree we can just return minus one and do this check let's set our exit condition for the leaf so the height of the leaf is zero and now let's calculate the height of the left subtree and here we check right away if the left is minus one then we will proceed with returning minus one so we will not even calculate the size of the right subtree because in the left subtree there is a not height balance node we do the same on the right and now we can check if the difference between heights in the left and right subtrees are greater than one, then this particular node is not height balance. We can return minus one. If it is balanced, let's return the height of this subtree. In the end, we just call in the DFS function for our root and checking if the return statement doesn't equals minus one. Let's run the code. It works on our test cases. Let's submit. 
Yep, we passed. That's it everyone. Today we solved the balance binary tree problem on the lead code. I hope it was helpful for you. If the solution wasn't clear or you have any questions to me, please leave them in the comment section below. I would like to hear your feedback. Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I plan to record a lot of lead code videos. Also, we do streams on Twitch. So if you're interested in that, please follow me on Twitch as well. And I'll see you on lead code. Bye.